Hey guys, how you doing today? Thank you so much for joining me. Today's another fantastic day. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. Today we're gonna to be doing a little unboxing. I got this new camera, Sony ZV-1. It's like Sony's uh, high-end kind of point and shoot camera. I had recently been filming on a Canon G7X Mark II and I'll overlay some clips here. I did a whole vlog challenge with that. It's kind of been my vlogging camera for a little while. And I had some other Canon cameras, some bigger DSLRs uh, that I had been using professionally. And I actually got rid of all my can Canon gear. Uh, I made a video about that. You can check it out. I believe it'll be right up here. Check that out um, and let me know what you think of that video. I, as you can see, I decided to switch over to Sony. So I picked up this little guy. This is, as I said, the Sony ZV-1. Doing a little bit of an unboxing. This is just gonna be kind of my YouTube camera, my vlog camera, my short videos. I do professional videos as well. And I have a, just got in this new Sony A7S III. So uh, I'll be making an unboxing video of that uh, as well. So. Uh, if you're watching this and I already made that video, it'll be somewhere up here or I'll put the link in the description. So make sure you check that out. But let's get right into it. This is the Sony ZV-1 unboxing. So as I mentioned, this is Sony's new ZV-1 vlog camera. It came out a few months ago, uh, but I'm just joining the Sony family. So if you shoot on Sony, let me know. If you've used this camera, let me know how you like it. Uh, I'll be doing an update. Uh, as I mentioned, this is just gonna be a uh, unboxing video, but I'll be doing an update kind of how I like the camera here in a little bit, put some use to it, show you guys some clips and all that stuff. Uh, this is the first time I'm using an overhead camera. I'm gonna make a kind of, this is just a little small rig kind of thing that I set up, kind of a home go-to rig that I just jiggied up there. So we'll see how that's working. Hopefully, hopefully that's working. You can see me up there and we'll dive right into this box. So uh, first things in the box is obviously the manuals and stuff. No one needs those. Um, even though I'm a Canon user, Sony does pretty good on their uh, efficiency of how, how easy to use their items are. So hopefully I can dive right into this. But uh, in here we got um, some cables. The one thing that people were mentioning is for how new this camera was, they didn't switch over to USB-C. It's still the micro USB, um, which I'm fine with. I got thousands of cables of all different kinds. So uh, it's fine for now. This is actually a really cool thing that they decided to include. It's a little dead cat mount um, and it's a cold shoe. It just slides right in. Oh, you guys can see up here, I guess. So it's a little cold shoe just slides in the top of the camera. Um, muffles. It, I've heard this camera actually has a really good microphone. So uh, we'll do some tests with that later on uh, in another video. So stay tuned for that. But I, I'm glad that they included that. Um, and obviously we have the camera itself and a little battery. They use these old batteries. Oh, it fell out here. I think that's all that's in there. Cord, dead cat, camera, and battery. It's the NPBX1 battery, just a tiny little battery. If you can see it up there. I, I actually got a couple third party ones because uh, I heard the battery life on these things isn't great, but we'll put them to the test and uh, hopefully get some use out of them. The one thing that I do know is that you can power these cameras via this cord and a battery inside and kind of have longer battery life if you use a power pack or something. So that's nice. All right, so let's get into the camera. So this is the Sony ZV-1. It's a point and shoot camera. Point and shoot camera has a nice flip out screen, which Sony is finally integrating on their cameras. Coming from Canon, that's one thing that uh, I was hesitant about, but that with their newer cameras I, that I've been able to switch over to, I absolutely love flip out screens. On the new Sony a7S III that I just got, um, I use that thing for wedding videography and I'm always, you know, uh, lifting it up, pulling it down, doing different angles, low shots, all that stuff. So I love a flip out screen. It's just so much more universal, I think, than just the flip up screens. Um, so anyway, uh, let's power this puppy on. Uh, battery door uh, is where the SD card goes as well, but um, I don't have one of those on me. So no worries, we'll just pop this guy in here, power it on. All right, and there it is. So this has a lens. 
uh, attached to it. It's not detachable. Again, it's just a point and shoot. So this is the Zeiss. I believe it's a, what is it? 1.8 to 2.8. So they say nine millimeters to 25 millimeters, but it's a crop sensor. So it's more like a, I think they were saying it's more of a 24 to 70 ish range, uh, realistically. Um, overall, this camera is really nice. It's light. Um, very light actually, it's small figured. As I mentioned, I, I was shooting on that Canon G7X Mark II, which is very similar to this in size. The doors over here, mini HDMI, the micro USB input. And one thing that I do like about this camera is that it has a microphone jack, which the G7X Mark II did not have. Um, so I'll be happy to put that to use. But going back to the dead cat, so that thing, if you can look from up there, just slides right into here. And the microphone is just under here. Uh, I'll do some tests later on. I'll link to that video in the description once I have it up. But uh, overall, that's everything that's in the box. Um, if you guys have this camera, let me know what you think about it so far. Uh, but we got the dead cat, the co cables, the batteries, and uh, that's what comes in. It does come with, um, no, it doesn't come with. This is an accessory that, Sony made specifically for this camera. Um, I forget the name of it. They call it something weird, uh, but it's basically a vlogging, it's like a vlogging handle grip, but it has uh, utility buttons on it. So you can press record, stop record. You can zoom in and out, take a picture. It folds out into a tripod. I'll overlay some clips of people using that. But um, I decided not to go with that. I have another, um, bendy tripod from gorilla pod i i'll make a video about those soon um, i really like how those work and i don't have a problem reaching around and they put the record button in a nice spot uh, up here so i can just hit that it's not like i need to uh, have it out and press record and stop i'm uh, totally fine with that it was like 150 bucks if you guys are interested in adding that on but um, i'm super excited to dive into this camera and see what it's all about thank you so much for joining me today uh Remember, I'm giving away a camera at the end of this month, so stay tuned for that. I will link to that video in the description. You can win a GoPro Hero 4. It's a little bit older camera, obviously, but I had a couple extra of these, and I wanna help you start creating content for your YouTube channel. Get out there, discover things, and, and just learn about yourself and be a better creator. So I'm giving away this 20. Check out the details in that video, uh, and stay tuned for the end of the month. So. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. That's the unboxing of the Sony ZV-1, Sony's new point and shoot vlog camera. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. It's much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to get out there and keep discovering.